Hello everyone, it's me again, and I expect you're pretty sick of seeing me right now. But anyway, there's one more video I have to upload today. And in this video I'll be talking about Hangry and Angry F's fourth single, Reconquista. Yes, it is their fourth. Some people think it's their first, well, it's their first physical single. The other three were digital, and they were Kill Me, Kiss Me, Top Secret and Statistic Dance. This is their first physical single. It was released digi digitally on iTunes and that bloody chart that I can't remember the name of again, Reko Chaku, on the 2nd of July. Um, it, the entire single wasn't released, it was just it was just Reconquist. It wasn't all the other tracks that were on this CD. But I think the full single is on iTunes right now. I'm not sure if it's on... Um... Record Chaco? <laughs> but, um, if it is, people from Japan or people in Western countries who speak Japanese or anybody who speaks Japanese could pick it up there, you know? Okay, so, so far this single is doing pretty well. It got... It was number one daily on Reko Choku. Sorry, I can't remember. Yes, it was number one daily on Reko Choku and number one weekly on Reko Choku. I, I'll have to stop saying Reko Choku. And it number one on Tower Records so this single seems to be doing very well um, anyway I will read out the track list track one Reconquista track two Ren I Re Le sorry not not the R I'm pronouncing it wrong Len I Re Revolution 21 Hangry and Angry Neo Acid version number three is Sadistic Dan um, the Low Browse Remix and number four is Reconquista Instrumental. This single comes with a DVD, there is no original version. Well, you can't download the DVD on iTunes obviously, it's just the CD. But if you want to pick up the physical copy, it comes with the DVD with the music video of Reconquista. I like the way Hangry and Angry, the, well, the direction their music is going in right now. It's more, even though people prefer the rock, you know, you know, things, I do like rock, yes, but I prefer techno, so, <laughs> which is why I really like these two songs. I haven't actually heard the remix of Sadistic Dance yet, but from what I've heard from Lenai Revolution 21, which was played at the end of a radio show, which Yoshizawa Hitomi, aka Hangry, appeared on. And it's te and it's very techno like Reconquista. And well, I wasn't really keen on the way um, where the way Hungry and Angry sang the piece. <laughs> when I first heard that song, I was pretty shocked. <laughs> um. I'm, I'm a bit disappointed that it is Lenai Revolution 21. I'm hoping that eventually they will cover Mr. Moonlight. I'm saying this because when Hangry and Angry came to London, um, still can't get over that, but when they came to London, um, they, perform, they performed it in a cappella the way they would want Mr. Moonlight to sound. We, um, we really enjoyed that. And it'll be such a waste if they don't do it. I'm hoping they will. But anyway, I really like the direction that this is going in. The music video is fabulous. I'm so glad this... I'm so glad Hungry and Angry aren't related to Hello Project, because let's be honest, the Hello Project music videos are rubbish. Well, the recent ones are anyway. There's no creative instinct in them anymore. Except for Barry's Kobo's latest single. See, now I had to say later single because I can't remember the bloody name. But, um, anyway. Sorry, I'm just being nosy. Yeah, 
Anyway, the music video is brilliant and well, I hope you all enjoyed the single as much as I did. I've played, I've, well, I've listened to it so much that it's gotten to the point where my mum has had to take my computer and my iPhone away from me. <laughs> so, um, and I, she started humming the tune and she hates the music I listened to, so hearing her hum that, like hum it, whistle it, whatever, makes me laugh. <laughs> Okay, so that's all I want to say about that. I will post links in the description of everywhere you can buy the single. And that's it for that one. But they're also, they've also released a DVD on the same day. And it's called Hungry and Angry F Live Circuit 2010 Sadistic Dance. There's not much to say about this. There is no Blu-ray. It is just the DVD. So I'll just be reading the track list. Track 1, Top Secret. 2, Sadistic Dance. 3, Mr. Monkey, four, Romantic Knee Violence, number five, Giza Giza, Crash Berlin Version, number six, Shake Me, seven, Wallflower, eight, Angelina, no, Angelia, not Angelina, nine, Lady Madonna, ten, Kill Me, Kiss Me, eleven, Doubt, with, which is an encore, another encore, which is at number twelve, No Future, and another encore, which is the piece Hangry and Angry Death Track. Still, I'm still not used to that. And the 14th track is a few clips from a festival they were at. Um, I think it's called Kichi Joji Kabuki Festival. So that's all I have to say, except the problem I have with this single is they auto-tuned them again. Stop auto-tuning the effing idols! For Christ's sake, they don't need it! They don't! Yossi and Rika sound brilliant without it, because, I mean, everybody's saying, oh my god, look how fantastic their voices sound without the auto-tune. It's true, they sound fantastic without the auto-tune. Stop auto-tuning effing idols! Auto-tune perfume. Leave the other ones alone. Okay, um, that's it. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed listening to what I have to say. And the next time I talk about a single, I've got other things to talk about, like Morning with Summer's 10th Generation Auditions and Smiley, just, Smiley, bleh, you know. I think it's Smilage or Smilage, Smilage, is that how they say? But anyway, they're the girl group with the shorter skirts in Japan. <laughs> so, I'll be talking about them, but the next single I'll be talking about, as far as I know, is AKB48's latest single, Flying Get, which is fabulous, by the way. Okay, so more about that another time. I'm off now, so bye. Oh, and I'm sorry I'm off on a mad one today. I've had a bit of sugar, you know. I'm, I shouldn't be allowed to eat sweets in the morning. Okay, bye.